Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, my name is Tara. Today, we are making beef gyros. Super easy, super delicious, and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video, and be sure to click the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. If you guys are ready to make these super delicious gyros, smash that like button and let's jump right into the video. We're gonna start by grabbing our beef. I'm using flat iron steak. Flat iron steak has the perfect amount of marbling to help keep this meat super tender throughout the cooking process. If you don't have flat iron steak, use any other kind of meat that you can find like porterhouse or anything else that is not too lean and it should still work perfectly. We're going to slice this meat really thin. It's really important to slice your meat against the grain. This will ensure that your beef is super tender. So I'm using a very, very sharp knife and slicing them into even sized pieces. Slicing the meat now is gonna help everything to cook very, very quickly inside of our Instant Pot. So once you have all of your pieces sliced, we're gonna grab a medium sized bowl and put all of the meat inside. Now we're gonna make our dry rub, so we're gonna add some salt. If you're on a low sodium diet, you can use a little bit less salt. Oregano. Cumin. Rosemary. Dill. Some black pepper. I like to crack it fresh. And some olive oil. All of the measurements will be in the description box below. And then I'm just going to use my hands to mix it up. You can wear gloves if you prefer. We're going to cover it and set it inside of the refrigerator. I'm going to marinate my beef overnight. If you want to have this today, I highly recommend giving it at least an hour so the flavors will develop and it will be delicious. Next, we're gonna slice our bell pepper. I'm using a red bell pepper here. You can use green, you could use yellow. And I'm just slicing it into pretty thick slices. Next, we're gonna grab our onion and remove the skin. Then we're gonna slice it up. I'm slicing my onion into large pieces. The pressure cooking process is gonna break down the onions perfectly so you won't be biting into large pieces of onion. I'm separating all of the pieces because it's just easier that way. Then I'm gonna smash down the garlic. This is a really great hack to get the skins off and roughly chop it. Then we're gonna grab our Instant Pot, set it to saute on high. I highly recommend doing this quick saute process. It only takes a few minutes and it's gonna lock in all of this delicious flavor. That being said, if you simply do not want to saute, you can of course just throw everything in and press start and it will still be delicious. Add a drizzle of olive oil. Of course, I'm drinking a dry red. Add our onions. This is a very quick saute process because we don't have to remove anything. Our chopped garlic, some salt. This is gonna help to sweat it out and some black pepper. And we're gonna just let this go for about one to one and a half, two minutes. Then we're gonna grab our beef. Look at these slices. You know this is gonna be delicious. And I'm just adding it to the Instant Pot. Of course, I'm crowding the pan. You could remove the onions if you want, but I've found this works really well and it's just so much easier. You're really just looking to sear it and get a little bit of color on that meat to lock in the flavor. Keep stirring everything around. This should take you about three minutes. Next, we're gonna add our filtered water. We don't need a lot of water, just enough to have it pressurize. And the water is gonna help us to deglaze the pot, which is very, very important. We're gonna add our bell peppers. I did not wanna saute these because I didn't want them to get too soft. Place in our trivet, our heat-proof glass bowl. I'm cooking some Israeli couscous along with my beef for an easy weeknight dinner. If you only want the gyro meat, you can of course skip this step. Or if you'd prefer, you can swap in some white rice instead. 
add our couscous and filtered water. It's a one to one ratio. Stir it around. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're gonna close the lid, make sure the silicone ring is on, set it to high pressure for four minutes. We're gonna allow 10 minutes of natural pressure. And when the pin drops, we're gonna open the lid to our perfectly cooked dinner. This is such an easy and delicious recipe. Remove the couscous, remove our trivet, and look at this perfectly cooked dinner. And it's so easy. Save the liquid in the bottom of your Instant Pot. It is super flavorful. This is perfect to pour over your gyro meat. If you have any left over and place it in the fridge, it is so incredibly delicious. To assemble my gyros, I'm gonna start with some homemade pita bread. We made this in the last episode. If you missed it, I will link it up in the cards and also in the description box below so you could check that out. It was so easy and super delicious. Otherwise, grab some store-bought pita and I like to put some of the gyro meat in first and then layer it with some baby lettuce, some spinach, you can add tomato in here, some red onion if you like, and of course top it with a nice helping of homemade tzatziki sauce. Recipe coming soon to this channel, so be sure you're subscribed and that you click the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you have a chance to try it. I'm gonna leave a playlist of more delicious recipes on the screen here if you'd like to check that out next. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.